to the Meditation Movement Podcast. This is where we explore the most recent research with both the mind and meditation. For those who don't know Sarah Lazar, she is a neuroscientist at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School. She is one of the first scientists to take the unreliable claims about the benefits of meditation and mindfulness and put them to the test with brain scans. In her study, she found long-term med- meditators had an increased amount of gray matter in the insula and ser- sensory regions. The auditory and the sensory cortex. It is also known that as we get older, our cortex shrinks five year olds. Not only this, her study also found that meditation after eight weeks thickened the brain in four regions. The posterior cingulate, which is involved in mind wandering and self relevance. The left hippocampus, which assists in learning, cognition, memory, and emotional regulation. The temporary junction, which is associated with perspective taking, empathy, compassion. The pons, where a lot of regulating neurotransmitters are produced, amygdala, the flight or fight part of the brain, which is important for anxiety, fear, and stress. A change in the amygdala was also correlated to reduction in stress levels. These are simply incredible, turning a fairy tale into fact. Now it is time to ask Emma some questions. Emma is a first-year student at James Madison University and is a fan of this podcast. She wanted to apply meditation into her life to see for herself if meditation works. Well, Emma, it's great having you on this podcast. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. First of all, what made you start meditating? Um, you actually sent me a video a couple of weeks ago because you thought it would help me because I was super stressed out. And so I tried it, and it was okay, I guess. So what, how, what, medita- what meditation did you use? It was um, a guided meditation where there was a, like a sound in the background that was like a beach waves or white noise or something, and then a voice that was over top of that telling me, just like reassuring me that I'm – perfect as I am, like I'm enough. So guided meditation, so, so why did you choose that? Um, I chose it because I didn't really know where to start, and uh, guided meditations just make it really easy, and despite how nervous I was, it made it very simple. That's awesome. Have you noticed any mental, mental effects since starting meditation? Um, it's great to like take some time out of my day to just kind of think and reflect on my life, so I'd say that it kind of just decrease my stress for the moment, but it seems fairly temporary. Hmm. What was the hardest part while trying to start mindfulness and meditation? Definitely just taking out the time of my day to like, put everything aside and just, like, de- dedicate a certain amount of time to doing this because it's, it's hard to live in this crazy world and not do anything. Wow. Emma, thank you so much for your time and for being on this podcast. Thank you for having me. That is all, folks. Tune in next Tuesday, 6 o'clock Eastern Time, for episode 231. Thank you.